This is the Oklahoma Sports Podcast presented by OklahomaSports.net. Stay tuned for interviews and information about high school, college, and professional sports around the state of Oklahoma. Now here's your host, Joey McWilliams. And thanks again for stopping by the Oklahoma Sports Podcast. Today we get to speak with someone who is in Columbus, Ohio, as she and her Southwestern Lady Bulldogs get ready for the national championship game in Division II women's basketball tomorrow. Coach Kelsey Music, congratulations on wins already in the Elite Eight and in the Final Four. Thank you so much. Uh, you all have uh, performed quite well, obviously, to get to this point. 35-1 and one now on the season, 35 consecutive wins. Talk about the experience in Columbus. It's been an amazing experience. I mean, I feel like they've done a, a – making it a, a top-of-the-line uh, tournament. But, you know, being at the Elite Eight, it's a little surreal. We're extremely excited uh, about the opportunity and – you know, it's kind of nice to be able, you know, in the in our Elite Eight and our Final Four match to be able to play teams that we'd never seen and really didn't know anything about and until we got our matchups. And so it was exciting to play some new people from uh, other regions uh, across the United States. But we are just super excited about the opportunity to continue to represent Oklahoma, the Great American Conference, and Southwestern Oklahoma State. Well, that's going to change, by the way, in, in playing against teams you haven't faced before. That's... Uh, a different setup in the national championship game. We'll get to that in just a moment. You all defeated St. Anselm 71-61 in the quarterfinals. And then uh, that was on Tuesday. Yesterday, you all came away with a 66-57 victory over Indiana from Pennsylvania. Uh, Coach, a, a little bit of a slow start in yesterday's game. And then, of course, both games really came down to fourth quarter effort. Uh, talk about how your team has played then, and they've found a way to win. You know, I think that's definitely one thing, like what, what you just said, we found a way to win. And, you know, we've had we've had quarters where we were down. Um, you know, in my opinion, I don't feel like we've played our, our best basketball here yet. But at the end of the day, you know, when it came down to it, when we needed players to make plays, we needed big shots, big stops, big rebounds. My players came through. And, and it's been a different one uh, for each, each moment. Uh, but they've seized their moment, and they've really handled their business in crunch time. You know, we haven't scored as many points as we average or normally do. But, I mean, I think that's part of being in a big tournament, uh, being in the Elite Eight. Uh, you, you've got to do what you got to do to survive in advance. You have Bethany Franks come up with nearly a triple-double in your quarterfinal game with uh, nine rebounds, nine steals, a school record. Then you get uh, Alexa Harvey in yesterday's matchup come off the bench as she stepped in for Tyra Aska, who had been injured, and just knocked down two free throws like, you know, Hey, I do this stuff all the time. Uh, so you and and of course, so many other other players have have played such a big role. Uh, it has not gone without notice, though, that uh, Hay, Haley Tucker and Hayden Pretty uh, may not have started as as quickly as what some might have expected. Is that a result of the defense focusing on them? Absolutely, I think it is the defense focusing on them. Um, I also think it's our style of play with our our full court press and whatnot. Um, it allows different players to do things, but I've told them all along, I really believe that the reason we're in this situation is because we have depth. Last year, I couldn't go as deep in my bench. I didn't have players step up when Haley and Hayden or Tyra had a bad night, and Bethany has really come into her own, and she's taken some ownership and leadership um, in, in her role, but my bench play has been just impeccable as far as different players have stepped up each night. And when I can go into my bench and someone can step up and hit a big shot, hit a big three or a free throw or whatever we need, that has allowed us to be successful, I believe, for so long and to make such a deep run um, into the national tournament. Coach, one last question. And, of course, Haley and Hayden really have. They've, they've played well also. I mean, they've put points on the board. It's just one of those things oh, that sure. maybe we, we expect so much that <laughs> when it's late <laughs> in the game and, uh, you know, Haley has single digits beside her name in the scoring column, it's a little bit of an, an odd thing. You all are taking on Lubbock Christian uh, in tomorrow night's matchup, 6 o'clock in Central Time on CBS Sports Network, and you all have already seen Lubbock Christian once this year, 3-3 three and three all time against the Shaps, uh, the Lady Shaps. Talk about the matchup tomorrow. You know, they're a really well-coached team. Um, they're also uh, have veterans that have, you know, he's got some seniors who, who have played in big games, um, won a national title, and I definitely think that they're experienced. Um, they have bigger guards. 
but I think that they, they try to control the tempo a little bit. Um, he, they just, you know, they're, they're also big, you know, he's got those big sisters in the paint that's, you know, can cause some havoc, but you know, at this point we've got to be able to execute, um, you know, we're going to tweak some things and, and, and practice today and, and get ready for a matchup. But, you know, I, I think it's going to be a great matchup. Um, I think it's awesome that the, you know, Texas and Oklahoma will be well, well represented <laughs> uh, in the national uh, finals game, but we're excited about the opportunity, but at the end of the day, we're going to have to execute. Players are going to have to make big plays. I think rebounding is going to be a big key for us because um, if you probably look at the size matchup, we probably are a little bit you know, outsized to a certain extent. So we're going to have to do a good job of executing and just elevating our game for 40 more minutes. I understand. And by the way, when these two teams met back on December 3rd, Southwestern came away with a 77-75 victory. Coach Kelsey Music, your team playing for a national championship tomorrow again, 6 p.m. Central Time. Folks can watch that game on CBS Sports Network, which is Channel 221 if you have Direct TV. Coach, congratulations again on a great year to this point, 35 wins. But I know that you and Coach Anderson and the rest of this team went to Columbus to win three, not just two. So success to you all tomorrow night, and thank Thank you very much for being with us on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast. Thank you so much. We appreciate the support.